Hey, what is going on YouTube? We are back with another video today here on September 6th. Uh, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to step away from the algorithms and data structures just for this video. And we're going to introduce something a little bit different with Node.js. We're going to jump into sending emails with it. Um, this was this idea was given to me by a good friend of mine, so we're going to jump into it. So we are zoomed in here on Visual Studio's code. Um, you are going to need an email address. I created a test one, so but first, let's create two files that we need within the Node project here. <clears throat> We're going to say email.js, and then I'm going to create a constants file that is actually going to hold my password or your password for the email um, it should be in good practice to separate your passwords from uh, coding files that way if you upload it to github or anything or any kind of uh, server your credentials won't be exposed they will be kept with you on your machine and your machine only so now that we have these two files let me get rid of this welcome here um first before I do that, I do want to do this. I'm gonna say a new terminal and then we're gonna say MPI init because we are gonna need some packages here. I'm just gonna leave all this empty because this is just a temporary project. No sense of filling all that out. Um now we have package package.json. And let's jump into downloading these packages. So we are going to need uh, node mailer oh, npm install node mailer and then we are going to need because I'm going to introduce a cron job to this uh, npm install node cron that should be all the packages we need Let's jump over to my browser here. Um, I am going to be using AOL. Every email is going to be different. Uh, for this node emailer, um, you will need to go up and go to account settings here, and then you're going to go into security. Oh, I guess. Uh, password and then you're going to say manage app passwords and then you're going to generate one with other app and it's going to give you a password I already have mine but I'm not going to create another one so once you get that you should be up and good to go um, you don't need to do anything with this now so we're going to jump right into the code Now that we have that, we're going to go into constants here. We're going to say let pass equal empty string. And then we're going to say module dot export equals pass. So after you put your password in those, in those quotes, uh, we can jump on over to the email here. Um, we're going to say let node, not mode, node mailer equal require node mailer and then since I said we are going to be pulling out the cron job because this could be very useful for other projects if I can spell require correctly node cron then we need to import our constants file equals require and then we can get right from our path constants. It's all in the same folder. And that is all our requirements we need to bring in here. Um, so jumping down to creating our node mailer. 
Um, let's go bar transporter. And then we're going to say node mailer dot create transport because this is what's going to send over oops the email because you're going to need the host which for AOL it is smtp dot AOL dot com we need a port number AOL runs on 587 and then we're going to need our authentication takes in a service which is going to be AOL let me say user which is your email account so for this test one it is that and then we're going to say our password is equal to when we pulled in our constants we can access the password and that is all you need for the transporter then outside of the transporter we say var mail options equal to another object which is what is going to be the body of the email you send which is going to be from which is going to be your email account otherwise it, it's your full email account including domain otherwise it won't work and you're going to say two and then i'm going to grab a 10 minute mail here this completely random generated email and then a subject which is going to be your subject line and then we'll say a newsletter because this is a perfect example of why to use this because you can create this and then you can say either text which are just plain text like so or you can say HTML and now comma there and then when you say HTML you can say something like today's topics include dot 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 because it's not a real newsletter so that is all to send you an HTML email you can you know stack stuff but just for this we'll keep it short and simple um, I do want to finish a subject so to use an example so we can say a plus and then I'm going to create a utility function to build out the, the date here we don't have yet which we're going to create right now from the top and then we're going to say function build date it's going to take no parameters then we're going to say let date equal new date and we need a, a year so we'll say year is equal to date dot get full year and we'll say let day is equal to this might be a little weird because we're going to pad the beginning of the date with a zero so we say date dot get day and then we slice off the end there then we need the month is equal to the same kind of layout but we need date dot get month so we need to add a one because it starts at zero and then we can do the same slice negative two and then we can just say simply return day however you want to specify the layout of the date i'm just doing day month then followed by the year which for seo purposes you want to flip the day and the year 
for this, keeping a day, month, and then year. Or uh, we actually got a slash or hyphen in the subject, so we'll do backslashes. Day, month, and year, that's what we return. So he returns and concatenates the string to the subject. And then down below, mail options. This is where we use our transporter dot send mail mail options then takes a function that expects an error or info open up our function if the error exists then we console log the error otherwise or else console log email sent and then we can get the response right from the info parameter info response All right, let's run it and see what happens npm node email js email sent 250 okay complete it now we jump over to our temporary email address we just created and there it is newsletter for today's date then h1 makes it nice and big we were able to read it so now we can wrap this emailer with a cron job so schedule and then we're going to send it every second of every day so we're speed up the process uh, six stars function and we open up our function it takes no parameters we take all this you can move it right on inside that cron scheduler Go ahead and run it and see what happens. Email sent, email sent. That's enough because it's going to spam uh, the email. All right, so there's all the emails that just sent. I took a few minutes. But we have plenty of emails that just sent over and they all say the same thing. So it's going to be super useful if, if you have a blog that updates or if you post a new blog and you can just pull it out of the database and send it in a newsletter all on a certain day. If you have scheduled, you can you know set the cron job, seconds, minutes, hours, days, months. Um, you can watch my actual video on how to create a cron job that goes a little more in depth. Uh, I don't not going to do that in this video because it wasn't the purpose. The purpose of the video was to get the mailer to send out emails. With that being said, I hope you found the video somewhat useful. Thanks for tuning in.